On every Tuesday after Easter, we have the story of St. Mary Magdalene. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and I'm sure you're familiar with the story. Mary Magdalene went to the tomb where Jesus' body had been laid after it was taken down from the cross. But all she found was an empty tomb, and all sorts of thoughts must have raced through her head. Someone has stolen the body, and who knows what they've done to it. She stands outside the tomb crying, and probably not quiet tears, but with loud cries. Suddenly, Jesus is there, but Mary doesn't recognize him. She thinks he's the gardener, and she asks him if he knows where the body's been taken. Some people say that Mary couldn't recognize Jesus through all the tears in her eyes, or that she really didn't see Jesus because her whole attention was turned toward the empty tomb. I'm sure many of you can identify with this. At one time or another, haven't you been overcome by loss, by grief, by sorrow, pain, and tears, so much so that all you can see is emptiness and darkness, and God is nowhere to be found. But like Jesus, who was right next to Mary Magdalene, God is there in every human sorrow. The difficulty is we're so focused on ourselves and our pain that we don't give God a chance. Jesus broke through Mary's sorrow and pain when he called her by name. As soon as she heard Mary, she turned from the empty tomb and saw Jesus. Sorrows and pain are part of life, but we have a choice what to do with them. We can focus on them or we can try to turn our attention to the one who overcame Mary Magdalene's sorrow and will ultimately overcome every human sorrow. Call his name, Jesus, and hear him in the depths of your heart call your name.